Joining me right now is Catherine Minone and Al Minone, uh, the owners of Stomp and Crush in Clinton, which sells beer making supplies and teaches people how to go about it. I'm going to turn the, uh, the stage over to you guys because you've got a lot to talk about here. First of all, what do you need uh, gear wise, infrastructure wise, to get started? Uh, well, to get started, you need a big pot, uh, you need room for a fermentation bucket okay. like this, um, and room for two cases of beer when you're done to store it for a couple of weeks. And it's really what you see here is about what you need. So it doesn't take up too much space. Nope. Uh, walk me through the process. What do, you, what do you have to have, and how do you mix it all together and turn it into beer? Well, the first thing, um, beer, to make beer, you need water, you need grains. We've got a couple different ones here to show you. You okay. need hops. Um, Let me get some of these out of the way so we get a good look at the what you got there. So you actually have. So, so now you sell all these ingredients in yes. your store, right? Yep. Okay. We have all of this at the store. Um, we also sell what's called extracts. So instead of making this yourself, it comes pre-made either as a liquid okay. or it comes as a dried powder. We do usually recommend for beginners, you know, start with an extract kit. This comes with all the ingredients that they need. Everything here is already pre-measured, very easy to use. So, step -by -step so, so it really, you do everything you can to make this convenient for people to get launched. It's not completely starting from scratch. You got kits that you can do, oh, yeah. and yep. that must get a lot of people involved in ways that w it would be too intimidating otherwise. Yep, the directions in the kit make it very, very simple, and then. Um, Brewers after that can formulate their own recipes or find recipes online or in books and uh, take it from there. You can make a full study of it, right? All right, this is sort of the main event right here. Can you take out uh, what's there? I'm afraid sure. to so, touch it. Sure, so. So the first step in uh, brewing usually entails um, taking some specialty grains, which have been crushed for us already, um, putting them in this uh, little baggie, okay. heating some water on the stove, and then steeping it. Um, there you go. Just like a big old thing of tea. Like a big thing of tea, exactly. And then, so this is going to sit on the stove for, for about how long? 20 minutes or so. Um, then we're just going to let it drain into the, into the pot. And then we're done with this. And at this point, the um, water's been transformed into a wort. Into? It's called wort. Wort. Yes. And then we're going to uh, bring this up to a boil. Um, when it comes to a boil, then we're going to start our 60-minute timer, and we're going to add um, our malt extracts. So these are just um, extracts um, that have come from the different types of grain. That okay. Are and there are many dozens of different types of grain and different types of hops available, so combinations of, of all of those together are endless. Now, when you talked about adding your own, come out from behind the back oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. Adding your own ingredients, getting your own feel for a beer that is uniquely yours. What kinds of things are you talking about? Oh, you can mix and match grains. You can mix and match hops. There's um, really great books on the market now. Can you throw that... like fruit in, or you know, like oh, yeah. uh, watermelon? Oh, or something like that? absolutely. I'm, he just seriously? made one. <laughs> he made really? it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Turned it was out great. Actually, one of the guys in our brew club put a lobster in his... his a lobster? In lobster his boil beer? Kettle. Well, yeah. I don't mean, know we, if we'd recommend that's that. Gonna cost <laughs> you, that's going to cost you a little bit extra, I think, for lobster beer. All right, so you finish with the process here. Uh, what, what happens next? Okay, so this boils for an hour, and then we're going to um, take the pot and put it in a sink of cold water. Okay. To cool it down, because we're going to be adding our yeast to it, and putting yeast in boiling uh, wort is a bad thing. So we want to get this down to room temperature. Um, after it's cooled down, and we're going to measure it with our thermometer here, we're then going to transfer it into our uh, fermentation bucket. Like so. Um, and then we're going to add water to bring this up to five gallons. Uh, the typical batch of beer is, is five gallons. Is five gallons. So that's, that's what all this would yes. right. provide as you get started. The other thing, too, we're um, not showing is everything really does need to be cleaned and sanitized. Yeah. We don't just pour it in the dirty bucket. <laughs> don't, don't use like uh, you know cement buckets or anything like that. Without rinsing no, back. you definitely want food grade. So now you're talking about a period of weeks uh, in here, right? Mm -hmm. So that, that, that's really the longest part of the process. Right. So we're going to add our, our yeast to this bucket. Um, and yeast comes in either a dry form or a liquid culture. Um, and it takes generally two to three weeks to finish fermenting. All right. Um, after that, we're going to transfer it by siphon because there'll be a sediment of yeast on the bottom. Leaving that behind, we're going to transfer it into our bottling bucket. And then? And then comes 
The bottling. Then comes the, the bottling. bottling. Then comes the all important bottling. So, second only to the all important drinking. So, That's you it. need bottles. Um, you need to make sure you clean your bottles properly. <laughs> um, got a brush in there, scrub them real well. Our beer is now in here. We've added priming sugar. So, we're adding a little bit of sugar to the beer right before bottling, and that just allows the yeast to eat and consume the sugar. Uh, I think. I think we have had a, as good, a thorough lesson as we're going to get uh, this morning. I think you've given a lot of people good ideas on how to get started. Uh, tell us the name of your store and the location once again so we all know. Uh, Stomp and Crush. We're on Route 81 in Clinton. Stomp and Crush, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much.